So Jesus can start calling you at the age of 13 and older. The reason being because at that age, we are now coming into what's right and what's wrong. So in the Bible, he says, train your child up in the way they should go. And when they get older, they shall not depart from it. Okay. And so, yes, he is going to start warning you through people at this very young age because he's like, you know, right from wrong. It's like at that point you will be held responsible for the right and wrong stuff you are doing. And so even at a young age, um, my mom, my dad, my grandma, they did start teaching me and my sister and my siblings about Jesus. And I'm so thankful for them because if it was not for my foundation at home, which was my grandma, my mom, my dad, I... I mean, I would have been a God-fearing woman I am today, but I probably would have went down a different path if it wasn't for them teaching us at a very young age about Jesus. So that's why it is very important for families to come together to start your Jesus journey. Start your babies on Jesus now. Last year, I heard God very clear, and my kids are young, but he was like, start teaching them about me. And I was like, Lord, what? they're still young i i don't i i want to start teaching them like when they're like seven eight nine ten you know ish and he was like nope start teaching about me now and i was like hmm okay and now with everything that has happened in my life from when they was born to my divorce like i can see now why he was like start teaching about me now because you know when they grow up and they start socializing or do activities or whatever the case is when they meet people they come back home and they repeat stuff kids are repeaters until they learn not to repeat stuff but they are very pure hearted they are repeaters so whatever they friends teachers or whatever whatever they heard from their friends their teachers their peers or whatever even from you they will repeat that so he's like if they are going to repeat you, have them repeat me. Have them repeat what's in the Bible. Have, you get what I'm saying, if that makes sense. So he's like, when they go out into the world, since kids are pretty much pure hearted up until you teach them not to be. But if they are going to be pure hearted, teach them to start repeating the word start repeating Jesus name start repeating God worship and praise because my kids they love to repeat me okay but the thing I love 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 about them um that every time we go to a store they learn from mommy like we'll just randomly Jesus loves you Jesus lo like people will be like oh where you come from and then my daughter and my son they'll look and be like hi Jesus loves you and we go on about our day so he's like if you are going to be an influence do it with your family. It starts with family. It starts at home. Everything starts at home. And I want to show you guys something that helped me on my Jesus journey, what helped me and my kids on my Jesus journey, what helped me through my divorce, what's helping me through my singleness now. So let me show you. So this right here is the Virtuous Woman Journal. So basically, God had me create journals, Bible study journals and self-care journals to help me on my journey with Jesus. OK, and so this is for the women and I created Valentine themed journals to, you know, of course, coming up with Valentine's. But basically, journaling is what helped me through my divorce. Let me show you all my original journal that I used during my divorce. And it says fasting journal and I wrote in it, wrote on it and I wrote Jeremiah 29 11 because I was going through a very dark time during my divorce and I was like, Lord, I'm starting this journal because I need somebody to talk to and I don't know who to talk to. So Lord, I'm coming to you and I'm surrendering. So during my divorce process, I was doing the soap method, which is you pick a scripture you observe the scripture, you write how you want to apply it to your life, and then a prayer based on what you read and how you felt. And so literally, I did that for most of the Bible. And so I was like, Lord, I feel like this might be able to help somebody else. So God put on my spirit, like this literally was my divorce. <laughs> journal and I was just writing to God how I felt because I didn't have nobody to talk to and I was like God 
I don't have money for a therapist. I don't have money to go talk to nobody. I really don't have friends. I I don't have no married friends at that time. So I was like, God, I'm coming to you because I need your help. I want to cry out, but who do I cry to? And so this whole journal was me crying out to God. And so he was like, Alexis, help other women in the same situation. I didn't have money for therapy. So journaling was my therapy. It's very therapeutic. And I wholeheartedly push journaling is so therapeutic and it literally helped me get through my divorce and now my current single season and so I created the virtuous woman journal and I is bible promises for women and self reflection journal and so basically it's it starts with a scripture you go in with your bible if y'all don't know me I love pink But you go in with your Bible, you match it to that certain scripture, and then you read that chapter or more, and then you go, and then you write it, you you do the scripture you just read, prayers, prayer you want to pray for other people, what you're thankful for, and people you want to encourage. And that's throughout the whole journal. And so... I wanted to show you guys this because I saw a lot of comments on how do I get closer to God? I feel like I strayed away. I feel like he's not listening. Let me tell you something. Even if you do not feel like opening up your mouth to pray, this right here is also prayer. He hears prayers, okay? So you writing to him love letters to God, love letters to Jesus. By you writing to him, you are taking time out to just really express yourself, express yourself. And when I say this is so therapeutic, so I came up with a Valentine's theme one, which is this one, this one, Proverbs 31 women. Um, this is the original one, the virtuous woman I'm out with the dream life journal. So this is for the men out highly encourage men to start journaling because a lot of times you guys are in y'all masculine energy and y'all don't like talking to people so God was like create one for the men right but he was like I still want my men to come to me and back here it says be watchful and stand firm in the faith act like men be strong men need encouragement godly wisdom and hope more than ever right now so we're in the time of men not coming to God, but he's like, I want my men to come to me. So this is for my future husband. Um, I'm journaling for whenever God brings me my husband. But like I said, right here, it says this belongs to Alexis husband, but I just kind of been journaling for him. And whenever he does come around, he can come in and write his little, you know, stuff. But yeah. Um, also you can, Ladies, if you are believing God for a husband, you can purchase this for your future husband. And also, if you are a teen and you are the age of 13 and you want to start journaling, I created a journal for the teenagers, which is the Child of God journal. So if you are a teenager or you have babies, start teaching them about Jesus. And one thing I learned, a family that prays together stays together so train your family up in the way they should go and they will never depart from the faith join us tonight for prayer meeting at 6 30 i would love to pray for you guys it's completely free it's on tiktok live i can't wait to see you guys tonight love you guys bye